Welcome back to Head Squeeze. Yes, this is Live Experiments. Yes, I am John Chase. And yes, I haven't got a big background which is white and the camera's pretty stable. Yeah. Right, today, Head Squeeze is gonna give you something a bit different. We've talked to you about pressures and gases and how they can get bigger, smaller, more pressure, less pressure, depending on temperature. Well, those are pretty small scale in my opinion. So right now, for your viewing pleasure, Head Squeeze is about to go big. We are gonna create an explosion right here. You've probably seen it before. Now the thing is, if you know what an explosion is, it's a sudden release of loads of pressure in a small amount of time. So if we was to create a high amount of pressure and that would suddenly be released, we could create an explosion. So what we're gonna use to create that explosion is liquid nitrogen. As we said before, liquid nitrogen in its liquid state doesn't take up as much space as when it's in its gas state. It's actually about six to eight hundred times more volume when it's in its gas stage. Now that would be all right if it could expand and if you could keep the pressure the same, but we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to take this bottle, we're going to fill it with liquid nitrogen and then we're going to do something really silly. We're going to stick the top on. Now having the top on it means it stops its volume from expanding. So what happens if you can't change the volume? Well, that's right, the pressure is going to increase. And that pressure is going to keep increasing and pushing on the sides of that bottle until it gets so much that the bottle fails. And all of that pressure is released in a sudden bang. We're going to have a huge shockwave of pressure coming out. And when it comes out, it's going to try and leave this area that we're going to put it in. And you know, we're not just going to leave the shockwave to come out. We are actually going to put loads of things on top of it. And you may have guessed it. Yes, it's going to be ping pong balls. Yes, they are bright orange. Yes, it's been done before, but never by head squeeze. Never in this particular field. That'll do. Right. So here we have one bottle of liquid nitrogen. As you can see, the liquid, as it gets warmer, is turning into a gas and it's taking up more space and we can see it streaming out of the top. But obviously, if we contain the volume, something's gonna change according to the laws. You can tell us all about those laws, remember? Underneath. Whew! Can I have my ping pong people, please? Right, okay. Everyone to the ready. We're going in. Fingers crossed. Oh, wow. Go, 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 go. This could be dangerous. Oh my gosh! The awesome power of pressure is pretty immense. Now, as you can see, it didn't just blow up the bottle, it blew up the whole bin. That's just cool. You're gonna have to give me a second. So what just happened? Well, this is the key important thing, safety done. So, we had a bottle full of liquid nitrogen. Now, remember when liquid nitrogen turns into a gas, it takes up six to 800 times more space. Now, when we confined it within the bottle, it had to overcome the natural pressure that the bottle can take, because this bottle is made for holding things like carbon dioxide and highly compressed gases in the drinks that you drink at home. So that can take up to about 10 bars, which is about 10 times the atmospheric pressure. But as you can see, the nitrogen expanded it to a lot more than that. Possibly about six to 800 times more than that. And when that pressure released in a sudden quick moment, you had the shock wave. And that is the awesome power of pressure. And anytime you see or hear an explosion, that's basically what's happening. A quick release of pressure, 
that's released as a sound and also a pressure wave, which is basically what sounds are anyway. So that was a live experiment. Thank you for watching. We've been Head Squeeze. See you next time. And oh yeah, don't try this at home. As you can see, it's dangerous. Peace. I'm going in. Subscribe! Or that will happen to you!